Hi everyone, welcome back to What's in My Insurance Policy. Today, I want to talk about deductibles and retentions. They're similar terms, similar mechanisms, but there are differences. And today, I want to talk about two differences and how they could affect your, your cash flow and your, your true exposure or your uh, financial exposure, I should say, as a company. So first, cash flow. With a deductible, the insurance company pays from dollar one. So they're paying first is the best way to think about it. You have a million dollar claim with a hundred thousand dollar deductible, they pay everything along the way. And then ask for re then they get reimbursement when all is said and done. With a retention, you pay first. So you have an immediate hit to your cash flow. Once your cash once that hundred thousand dollar is hit, what that is hit then the insurance company takes over. So that's number one. Retention, immediate hit to your cash flow, deductible, it comes after the claim is done. The second point I wanna talk about is how it affects your limit of insurance. So I wanna use again that $100,000 deductible or retention and a million dollars of limit. So let's first talk about the deductible. Anything that basically the deductible amount and everything under erodes your limit of insurance. So what does that mean? So let's say you have a $1.1 million claim, but again, remember your limit is only a million dollars. The insurance company pays that million dollars, seeks reimbursement of you for $100,000. But at the same time, you're responsible for that, that extra hundred thousand because the claim was 1.1 million dollars and you only had um, a limit of insurance of a million so essentially your out-of-pocket cost is two hundred thousand dollars with a deductible same scenario this time your retention is one hundred thousand dollars your limit of insurance is still a million dollars and we still have that 1.1 million dollar claim so you retain the first hundred thousand dollars but now the insurance company pays from one point from one hundred thousand to one point one. Basically, those dollars that were expended by you at the beginning do not erode your limit of insurance. So the the difference comes out to a two hundred thousand dollar difference in that point in that scenario. So it's something to be aware of. There are other considerations. That doesn't mean a retention is better or worse but it is something to be aware of when you're looking at your insurance limits. I hope this helps. These are not the only differences and similarities between retention and deductibles, but I wanted to just hit on two. I wanted to keep this within a good time frame. Um, so I appreciate listening. Hopefully this new fresh haircut wasn't too distracting. Um, if it was, I apologize. Anyway, we'll catch you next time. Take care.